What is going on guys? Hit the target here and welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video what we are going to be going over is how to make stubs in this game and stub making methods you can use to get that team that you've always wanted and with that being said guys I hope you do enjoy these videos. Um, I put a lot of time into these a lot of effort and um, so I hope you guys do enjoy them and with that also being said i do have a sports card channel where i have been opening a lot of stuff um, i'm doing a lot of giveaways on the channel i just created it link will be in the description and uh, if you want to subscribe over there let me know uh, leave a comment on the videos i have giveaways over there and i i in the videos i explain the rules for the giveaway so i think yeah i think it's like 15 likes on the video so if we can hit that i will be giving away a lot of really cool stuff over there so with that being said though let's hop into this video uh some stub making methods for you guys in this game now uh it's very easy to get a good team this year if you haven't noticed um it's easier than most years it's weird i don't know why they did this i feel like the game's gonna die quicker but we will just roll with it for now. So first things first, XP reward path, guys. I have barely played the game. I probably have two hours in the game right now. I have 30,000 XP right here. You get a thousand stubs and you get a choice of four uniforms. I personally, I'm not a big guy on keeping all these. I quick sell them all for a thousand each 5,000 subs right here. Then you get these players, you get a free diamond. Um, and also on top of it, you, you get a lot of just free choice stuff, a lot of jerseys. And then here you get a choice pack of a 92. So that's not really a stub making method per se, but that, those are really good ways of just getting a better team so that you can make stubs. Uh, because to get a good team, then you can play in gameplay modes and it makes it a lot easier. Now, NL Central Affinity, stuff like this, getting these live series players helps for collections as well. So if you're trying to get collections done, um, getting these like four live series players that are no sell or uh, getting these guys definitely helps with collections. And then you get free, you know, 92s here. It's not hard. I mean, these are very easy. The missions aren't hard at all the moments. And so that is that for that but here's what i do to make stubs right off the rip now we have forty two thousand right now as you can see and so what i like to do is i like to look for cards with gaps now there is as you can see there are a lot of cards here so let's let's take that's a pretty good gap let's uh that's not great let's take uh, let's go over to the golds. Let's go to something you guys would be a little bit more like this is a little bit more realistic. Let's see if we can find any gaps within the golds that are good. So here's what we're going to look at the left number and the right number. You're looking for massive discrepancies between the two. Why? Because you're going to be flipping these cards. Essentially, this is an old method in this game, but it is still a very good one. It's just like Madden. Um, it's the sniping on the auction house is always the best every year and so um, that is what we are going to try to do so the discrepancies aren't great that's why you need a decent amount of stubs they're pretty bad right now let's look at randy johnson okay no you another thing you don't want to see like three cards on the left you want to see a ton because what we're going to do then is you don't want it to like just get completely bombarded by lower offers so we're going to put it in order here for ryan helsey uh helsley for 8,353. So we're going to put in 8,353 here. And it should be... Okay, someone just put in... Okay, but see, this is the problem with it sometimes. Is some people like to overcut you, obviously. So you got to go back. You can be patient and wait. If you have a ton of stubs, I recommend just throwing them in. Eventually, the buy order will go through. As you guys can see, I think it did go through. Um, actually, no, I think it just keeps getting bit up. So 8,361 now. We're gonna put that in. Hopefully, somebody uh, fills our order here. And while we do, while we wait for that, we will look for some other ones. I like this Yordan gap. It's like you gotta remember another thing. You can't just look at the two numbers and say, "Okay, I can make twenty-two or two thousand here." You gotta say ten percent tax on the sell order, and ten percent of fourteen thousand two hundred sixty-six is like one thousand four hundred twenty-six or whatever. So that is. A lot less than making 2000 you'll be making about 800 so you got to remember that um let's put it in anyway though uh what is it again 12 12076 so 12076 
that's 12, eight. I am all over the place. 12, zero, seven, six. We'll put in 12, zero, seven, six here. Okay, and our order just went through for Helsley. So we will go back over to Helsley and we will put up this card for 9966, one lower than the 9966, one lower than the, uh, and it, wow, it went through very, right away. Boom, right away it went through. So now you guys can see, um, we still have Jordan up, but completed orders. We bought Helsley for 8,361. We sold them for 9,966, take about 990 off, and we made about 600 subs. Now the buy order just went through for Jordan, and so we're gonna go back over to Jordan here, and we should be able to get 14,274. It's it's a fun, it's, it's kind of fun too. I kind of enjoy it. It's kind of hectic, and it's kind of entertaining at the same time, because the, the reason this happens is you got people who are impatient, and just click buy now right away and it just sold boom and so you got the very impatient people and then you also have the very patient people who are willing to actually wait it out so you guys can see uh two sales just right back to back this took this was in a matter of a minute um right here so we got eight we got about 800 stubs or we got about 700 in this one and we got about 800 in this one. Now I recommend sniping diamonds. I think the market's pretty hot right now. So um, diamonds are definitely the best to uh, do this with, I think. I mean, if you can find gaps, I think that you could do golds. Like let, let's look here. Cause I mean, it's not great right now. Usually they're pretty much better. If you can see like 1800 and 1200, go for it. But at these gaps right now, there's only 200 stubs to be made. And so I love the cards like Jordan right now. Um, even like some of the bigger ones, like Jordan's is really, that 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 is a really solid one. Let's try to do it one more time as uh, I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it in this video quick. And then we will also talk about some other methods I do to make stubs throughout the year. Um, but another major method I do is investing in players that is one of the biggest ones i do every year so what i like to do at the beginning of the year i look at guys like vlad guerrero but he's very expensive right now i don't recommend going in on vlad right now or juan soto this might be a little bit better of an investment juan soto is one of the best hitters in the league he's an 83 gold i think juan soto will be fine okay with well, our buy order just went through for Jordan, so we're going to actually put him up um, again for 14 274 and so while that's selling, we are going to go back to the uh, talking about these investments because Juan Soto, guys, he's he's one of the best hitters in the league. If anyone's going to bounce back, it's him. 2800 for him is still a little expensive. I'd wait a couple days uh, for him to go down. But there's guys on here, obviously, every year we see guys go up to diamond. We see him go up to diamond. We see him go. There's one guy every year that likes to go up to the 90 overall. So look at Pete Alonzo, too. He could easily go diamond. Um, they could also fall down. We don't know. We don't know about these guys yet. Um, Devin Williams at an 82 is disgraceful, might I add. He's one of the best relievers in baseball. So this might be a really solid investment for 900. Because even if they go up to an 84, their prices are going to skyrocket. So I recommend getting in on these players early. Um, see, Just do your own research. See who's really, really, really doing good at the start because this first roster update, they make some big moves um, in the first roster update. And so that is why, personally, I do like to invest early, because um, if you invest early, it's just gonna be exponential growth, guys. Because, listen, if you get over like 200K to invest in one guy and he goes diamond, you're pretty much set for like the rest of the year. You're gonna have over a million stubs to work with. And that's kind of how I do it every year. It takes a couple months, but then all of a sudden I'm sitting at 800K at the end of the year, and I'm fine. It's it's just like it it I didn't even need to um, buy any sort of stubs off the market at all. Just be patient. As you can see, though, another one just sold. Uh, the Jordan just sold. I bought it for a little bit more than the last time, yes, but I sold it for the same amount, which means we made 25 of us stubs, but we still made 800 or 700. And uh, so I think we started the video in the 42s. We are at 45, and I've just been talking for like eight minutes. Um, if you want to get some of these really good players, like just think about it this way. I like to think about it in terms of this. It makes me feel like I'm actually being really productive. You can buy, so for every flip I did, I just bought an 81. I just got an 81 overall. 
um, for every flip I did. And so, um, just think about it that way. Every flip you do, you get a new 81 overall gold. I, I like to think about it that way, even though it's kind of a counterproductive way to think about it. I still like to think about it that way. But those are just some of the methods I recommend, guys. And also stay tuned because I will be posting a lot of investment videos. And I will be giving you stats to back it up. Uh, why I think players will um, upgrade. But I think it is important you guys do your research first because obviously when I'm talking about these, other people are going to find out, other people are going to invest, it's going to drive the price up, everyone kind of starts to know about it. So um, I recommend doing your own research, seeing matchups, seeing who's going to be really, really good, who's kind of been under the radar because MLB The Show knows who's been good and so they will get the upgrades. But that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, smash that like button down below, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the Sports Card channel. Also, a lot of giveaways on there, a lot of fun. That being said, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.